I'm glad they don't destroy the ports when they blow up. God, that's something an Adele developer could easily talk themselves into, you feel like, you know? That they didn't, and I'm really glad that they didn't. What a good game this is, though. For all my complaining I've done this episode, Slime Rancher is a very relaxing and fantastic game. You wish that they could make it into a multiplayer game, don't you? You wish that you could, like, fight over ports and stuff, fight over the resources of the land. And it would be pretty easy to do. You could just have a farm, a ranch here, and then a ranch somewhere close, but not too close. Like, maybe um, you go through this area, and on the other side of this little area, there's another matching ranch, and you could fight over the, the ports and all the resources, or be civil and trade each other. Or even if it was just a basic co-op setup where you could play together and help each other on the same farm. I've always thought that that would be cool in uh, Stardew Valley as well, is if, for one, you could have multiplayer where you can play on the same farm, but also have it so that the map is just got two farms, so, uh, so you could fight against each other, sort of, over like who would have the boyfriend that you want and stuff like that. Maybe have limited certain types of resources or limited. Did I not? Yeah, I've got this thing working. Oh my god, 10. Fantastic. Oh shit. Oh shit. I've got to come back and get these ports. I've got to get these ports, boys. Um, we actually have enough to buy this other pin here. Do I want. I don't know why I'm actually saving these, to be honest. Because I have the what I need. I have the ports. I'm trying to think what kind of s mixtures I want right now. I feel like we want a honey for sure. A honey and something else. Maybe a honey and a... F well, we want a honey and a phosphor for sure. But I'm thinking about what we can put over in that final area over there. So it can't be a phosphor because they can't live during the day. And it can't be a water because you can't mix anything with water. So maybe honey and radiation could be good over there. Let's try getting a honey radiation thing going. But I think what we should probably do is high walls as our priority. How much is an air net? 425. We'll have enough money to get the stuff back in a second because we have all those ports waiting for us in the next room. Okay, so I think what we'll do is since it's almost nighttime outside, I'm going to grab these ports. I love that they look like a goddamn techno or techno disco. Is that what they call it nowadays? Techno discos? Probably. I'm pretty, I'm pretty connected. You know, I'm pretty well connected when it comes to. I wonder if there's an anti-radiation upgrade. I don't think there. I don't think I remember seeing those. Oh God, I'm radiated. But I could be wrong. You think that if they're gonna put up radiation in the game, they'd have an anti-radiation upgrade for your dude? I wonder what happens if you get to 100. Do you just take damage or do you become mutated? I would love to be mutated, to be honest. I would love to be mutated. We got a full phosphor load right now. And 19 rad rads. You know, our, our, our ranch is becoming to the point where all we need is like one set of, of ports from each thing and we have a bunch of cash. It's going really well for us right now. We're really in those slime bugs, if, if you will. Like we just, just that, those, those alone that we just got is worth 1,600 bucks. Maybe 1,400 actually, but you get it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pop a cor corral here and high walls there. 
And then we're gonna go and pop another thing in here. Corral, high walls, and we're gonna get an air net in here because obviously what we're going to put in here is um, honey phosphors. You boys have any more phosphor slimes waiting for me? Yeah, you do. All right, we need two more honey slimes. I for I want this vegetables. What kind do they like now? They like fruit. Only fruit. So we'll just shoot these guys in the face with these vegetables then. All right. So they like fruit only. These guys like fruit and veggies. These guys like fruit and meat. Ugh. They're very needy, aren't they? They're fucking super... Oh, we didn't get the tabby ones from here, did we? Let's grab the tabby ports. Very nice. Alright, so we have that. We'll get a little bit more money from these ports. Then we'll double check the ports in here. We need to fully upgrade this thing next, I think, is our next, uh... Oh, God. I just, I really, I think these, this combo right here is my favorite looking slime. But any slime that explodes is a bit of a nightmare. Honestly, it would probably rather be exploded than hit with the fucking rocky slime spikes. sell these. This should be a good amount of money. We might be able to actually put a thing or two. You know what? Whatever we get from this, I'm going to put into an upgrade on our on our character instead. And you know what? I'm going to shoot these boom slimes off into the ocean. <laughs> Goodbye, fair slimes. You shitheads. Alright, let me put these up. That's 518. That should be good enough for one upgrade, right? You think? All right, uh, tank bo booster mark to power core, dash boots, air drive. What is that? Enhanced jetpack thrusters that consume 20% less energy, but produce double the fun. Uh, dash boots, um, highly advanced and frankly fashion forward boots, half the energy consumption while sprinting. All these are pretty good, but nothing that blows your mind, I guess. I think I'm going to get the ones that are 350, so let's go ahead and get dash boots first, and then we'll come back later and get something else. I guess there's Mark II versions of all of the upgrades, but there's no radiation suit, which is unfortunate. It seems like a missed opportunity to give you another interesting thing. Is this, not, is this dead? It is dead. Shit. I don't know why I didn't notice that before. Let's pop another uh, Oka Oka in here. Get them growing. Oh shit, you know what we need to do too? We need to go check on our Q-berries as well. They're probably well past ready. And the problem with this is that there's not, I feel like there should, there'd be, it'd be really, these could actually benefit from having the auto collector upgrade. Because otherwise it's just a huge, oh, I, say th I say that, I kind of take that back because on the, at least on the Q-berries, all the other ones, not so much, but the Q-berries, they fall off the tree, letting the tree grow another set, and I and it's usually they usually don't despawn unless you have uh, wild ports around that are eating them, obviously. You just gotta come in here and collect stuff, don't you? There's just so much free stuff that this place offers you. I would say to the point that. Even though you are going to get a lot of money from uh, opening the, the the cave first that you have, even though you're going to get more money from having the ability to keep phosphor slimes without having to have like the uh, the tinted corrals for the cave, I would say that you get so much free food and chickens and things from this place that it's almost worth taking this one and opening it first. Um, as opposed to opening the one we opened first. 
Good grief. I'm having some frame drops for some reason. Normally this game runs in like a, a flat 60 without any drops, but sometimes you just get a weird a weird one. Is that a Q-berry we just sucked up? I think it was a Q-berry we just sucked up. Alright, we're good. Let's check for the ports. There's a bunch of fucking ports in here. Alright, we're gonna come back and get those ports. So we need to think about net between now and next time I need to figure out which is the next cheapest slime key. Um, in terms of which what are they called? What are they called again? Gordos, that's it. Jeez, I, I cannot remember the name of those damn things. I want to call them Largos. They're fucking large. Okay. Alright. We're all emptied out. We have plenty of stuff going on. Oh, I forgot we built those music things into these. So they're happy. <laughs> All right. Um, we don't have much money. We don't have much to, else to do, really. Um, so the next thing we're going to have to do is another big excursion, I think. Um, also to feed our farm again. But, I mean, they're just scattered with... Oh, watch this. I wonder if I can shoot this and it, if it'll feed on it. No, they seem full. Okay, that's fair enough. We got... Uh, all sorts of ports to be collected, though. So, yeah, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill this pin with something. I'm not sure what yet. It's probably going to be a honey port and maybe a radiation port. Yeah, I think we're going to go honey radiation over here. And then we're going to go... And we need another... We need to go kidnap two more honey ports or honey slimes from the, uh, the new area we unlocked today. So that we can pop two more into that pin and then mix them again with the um, the phosphors. And that'll give us a full pin of four for those that combo. Yeah, things are going really well. I think at some point you're, we're going to probably have to think about duplicating a couple types that we have. Because there's only so many combinations, obviously, that are worth having, really. I mean, there's not really... At a certain point, you can't... You have to stop putting blue and tabbies and stuff together. So, we'll see. Like, right now, even, the... These guys are... The, the phosphor ones are so cheap that... It's almost worth... Putting something else into that pin. In the in the, the, the final pin slot that's in the, the area... It's almost worth putting something other than a phosphor slime in that one. I wish you could mix the water slimes. Speaking of water slimes, this is going to be the final thing we do this episode. Or this uh, bulk session. Is grab these water ports. I really like the puddle slimes. I'm going to be honest. I like them. I think we should go back and get a couple more to put into that pond for sure. Alright. Um, yeah, we need to... Whoops. What the hell? They're falling out of the tree before our very eyes over here. Okay, so we're going to sell these puddle plorts and call it a session. I'm going to go now record some shopkeep. And uh, I'm going to try to keep up recording. I'm going to try to keep up recording. Um, if you guys haven't checked me out on Twitch, that's my main focus. So right now we're, we're playing Stellaris. Um, we have MMO Mondays where I play an MMO or two on Mondays. Then the rest of the week we have a game we focus on usually. Right now it's Stellaris. So if you guys are interested in Civilization games like that, uh, this is like Civ in Space. Um, we are currently running a uh, Empire of... What are they again? I can't quite remember. I've gone through some end buyers. We started with the turtle, space turtles, then we went to the space slugs. And now we're on space... Shit, I can't remember. I don't know. It's an, it's an intense, an intense uh, space people. Space faring people, though. Um, we're also playing... Um, on Mondays, we play Tree of Savior and Neverwinter right now. 
Um, and then soon we're going to be switching up from Stellaris to something else. But that's my main focus. I, I stream every Monday through Friday um, from 9 p.m. Central Standard Time until around 2 to 3 a.m. And uh, hope, hopefully you guys come by if you're watching here and not over there yet. So I'm going to see you guys later. Thanks for, for, thanks for stopping by. I apologize for all the advertisements there at the end. I'll see you guys next time. I love you. Have a great night or day. And uh, don't die or whatever. Or do if you want. No, don't. Don't do that. All right, bye.